Hey there everybody, it's Anna again with saltinmycoffee.com. I'm sharing today's recipe outside because I simply can't bear to be indoors. It's this beautiful 72 degree day. Um, it's November and when are we gonna have weather like this again? So um, I just can't stand to be inside. Um, so I'm outside here with Dr. N.T. Oliver's Treasured Secrets, the Century Cookbook and Home Physician. 301 illustrations, compliments of the Boston Traveler, Boston, Massachusetts. Um, I just love the different style of all of these 1800s cookbooks. This one was published in, I think it's 1894, let me double check, 1894. And here's one thing I really love about this cookbook is that if you look at the index, which is in the front of this edition, by the way, you have everything jumbled together. It is absolutely hilarious. You've got homeopathic treatment of diseases, things like constipation and cough, right before pastry, pies, apple cream pie, chocolate cream pie. Um, yum. It is all one thing after another. Completely hilarious. You've got bandaging taught by pictures um, right next to um, all the layer cakes. <laughs> Um, so it's a hilarious example of everything being indexed all together in one index. You've got everything from how to care for the sick and, um, you know, cure dyspepsia to all different kinds of amazing recipes. Now today I figured let's go ahead and share a recipe for pumpkin pie. Um, it's such a classic and it's hard to go wrong. Let's take a look. I, once again, am going to see if I can find a scan of this cookbook that you can find and peruse the whole thing right online. I love this service of so many of the larger libraries now digitizing old books that are in the common domain. So I'm gonna to try to share this in a way that you can look up not just this recipe, but you can enjoy the whole cookbook because it really is a cool one. I know I say that about all of these. I love them all. Um, this is a fun one. But let's go back to that page where we were talking about pies. Pumpkin pie, page 158. Pumpkin pie. Cut up a small sized pumpkin. Cook until done, then stew down until little moisture is left. Then press through a colander or sieve. Take four cupfuls of the pumpkin Add to it one cupful of molasses, two cupfuls of sugar, two tablespoonfuls of ginger, two of cinnamon, two of flour, three pints of milk, a teaspoonful of salt, and five well-beaten eggs. Mix all together thoroughly and bake with undercrust only. Um, I might actually try this for my Thanksgiving pumpkin pie recipe this year. It sounds a little bit heavier on the ginger than I usually do. Um, and usually I put nutmeg in my pumpkin pie, but um, sounds pretty amazing. And the addition of molasses sounds pretty great. All right, 1894 pumpkin pie recipe. Thank you so much for doing this series with me. I'm having so much fun with it. Again, if you have um, any particular recipes you'd like for Thanksgiving from the 1800s, let me know. I'll try to find it for you in my cookbook collection. Also, I've been um, learning more about how to do this YouTube thing, and apparently I'm supposed to say, hey, if you liked this video, would you be willing to subscribe and uh, like this video? Because that really helps my channel grow. Um, I really appreciate the support. All right, this is Anna with saltinmycoffee.com. See you all tomorrow.